form of the lesser. And it's very fun to see the concern. And frankly, you know, uh, I'm not, I, I've got to dig into this more, but uh, apparently it's a very complicated situation. If Wu wins the Democratic nomination, it's quite possible you will have the Democratic Party endorsing the Cuomo, uh, this is assuming that Cuomo wins, which <clears throat> may or may not be a safe assumption. I haven't seen any polling. Nobody seems to be doing any polling. Uh, but assuming Cuomo wins and Wu wins, then the Democratic Party ticket would be Cuomo Wu, but the Working Families Party ticket, among others, would be Cuomo Hochul. And apparently Cuomo is very concerned about this because a vote for Cuomo Hochul on the WFP line may actually provide the WFP with the 50,000 votes that they need to qualify for the ballot next go round. But apparently it would not count towards Cuomo's margin of victory. In which case, remember, Cuomo's number one agenda here is to win the general election with 60, 65 percent, 70 percent, I think was his dream months ago, so as to make him a national figure. If Wu wins <clears throat> and if Teach Out and Wu get 30 percent of the vote in this Democratic primary, then quid pro Cuomo is damaged goods. And he simply goes down in the history books as the not very popular Cuomo of the two. All of which would be uh, a huge blessing, which is also not to forget that uh, Credico may take um, a decent sized chunk from uh, Cuomo in this uh in this primary. So uh, all very interesting uh, to note. And there is a contrarian view of the Democrats' chance chances in maintaining the Senate. You know, we're in we're in it is now election season, folks. We got uh, eight, nine weeks. 